Welcome back to Clumsy Dog. Here in Zone 7B, it's time to get some seeds started. We're going to start with the cool weather plants, broccoli, cabbage, um, cauliflower, things like that, that like a little bit cooler weather to get to harvest time. Hopefully we can get those growing, get them in the ground in early March, and be able to harvest them before it gets insanely, insanely hot. Alright y'all, let's get some seed started. This is the kind of seed starting tray I like to use. I like these smaller cells just because of the vast quantity of seeds that I start. Um, you can use pretty much anything you have. Little solo cups. Um, you can reuse little pots that you've gotten flowers in or whatever. Um, you're, not, you're not limited to this, but this is what I like to start my seeds out with. I'm going to use a potting mix that I made. It's got peat moss, coconut core, vermiculite, and perlite in it. The vermiculite and, and perlite help keep the moisture levels kind of constant and the perlite keeps it from compacting around the roots of the plants. So it makes it a really good, good start for them. Um, I actually made a short about that a couple days ago and I posted it so I'll put that link in the description. I want you to note something about these onion seeds. They're not naturally pink like that. This is actually, they're coated with a clay substance. It, it makes them bigger, easier to handle, easier to see when you're planting them because otherwise they're so tiny that they're really hard to work with. Um, full disclosure, I've never actually grown onions successfully. If you have, drop me a comment below and tell me the secret to your success. I'd love to hear your success stories. You can probably tell that my seeds are kind of generic, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, whatever. Um, I actually buy these seeds at the feed store. They're a good price, they germinate well, they haven't let me down yet, so I just love these seeds. I'm gonna go overboard with the broccoli and the cauliflower and the cabbage. We'd like to have enough to harvest, eat raw this you know, spring and summer and also have some to throw in the freezer. Um, this is our third year growing broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. The first year it was growing, it looked great, it was developing, and then the cabbage worms arrived. And they just decimated the whole crop in a matter of a day. So last year we were successful, we got some cabbage, we got some broccoli and some cauliflower it was the best tasting produce we've ever had so we're gonna we're gonna go crazy with it this year and I'm pretty excited to see what happens I'm also going to plant some spinach these seeds are a little bit bigger too easier to work with they're naturally like that I'm hoping even if we don't eat it all fresh, I think I can freeze dry it and sneak it into food. It has so many benefits, it's so nutritious. And I actually did this with kale last year, don't tell anybody. I sneak it into a lot of the dishes that I'm making. I freeze dried a bunch of it last year, so I sneak it in and uh, they're eating good stuff, whether they know it or not. Celery, I'm gonna try celery again. It's not something I've successfully grown, but I don't want to give up yet. I'm starting it a little earlier this year than I have in the past, so maybe it will have enough cool weather to grow and be be ready to be picked and used. Um, when you cover these seeds up, don't squish them down too tight. You just want a, a thin covering on them. They need to be surrounded by the soil to give them a good start, but they don't need to be suffocated. Um, and of course, you're going to want to keep your plants wet. Um, if they dry out, it's really hard on them. I'm going to put these inside under some grow lights. I'm going to keep them just warm enough, not too warm. These are brassicas. They like cool weather, but not, not freezing weather. So, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you're planting this time of year in your area. 
um, what your favorite thing to grow is y'all go like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm going to be doing some a whole series on this potting up so I don't want you to miss anything and thanks for watching